So listen, don't allow your feelings to guide you into temptation. If you know something is off, if you know something shouldn't happen, if you know something is wrong, why are your feelings still guiding you into doing it? And then we blame someone for hurting us. We become a victim. And you don't realize that you are a victim to your own feelings. Stop allowing your feelings to have so much power over you. It is not your God. Don't obey it. You shouldn't obey your feelings. You should obey the truth. And you know the truth. Because you know for a fact when something don't feel right and when it don't, when it feels perfect. You know exactly when something pulls your energy or gives you a higher vibration. You know exactly when some things just don't settle or some things do. You know the truth. This is what you should be doing. But we are always giving into our feelings. We are always giving into our temptations, our feelings, and then blame the devil. Blame that man. Blame that woman. Blame that man who lied to us. You knew that he was lying. Because one thing about a lie, a lie you feel when somebody is lying, when somebody is being dishonest. No matter if they're trying their best to cover it up or not. Stop giving into your feelings. And you see how your life works. Focus on the truth. Focus on facts. Why are we dismissing the facts? Why are we trying to filter out the facts and with our emotions. Well, I know he did this. I know she did this. I know they did this. But I feel, but I think, and I feel maybe focus on the facts. You're not a victim. You're not. Sometimes you know better. But you do the same crap that you know for a fact that you shouldn't do. And we do it again. And we do it again. And life is not going to give you a break. If you keep doing the same stupid stuff. Because you believe in your feelings so much. You believe in your feelings. You bow down to your feelings. You hear the verse. Thou shalt have no other God before me. Yet we take in commands from our feelings. Even though we know the word. Even though we know the truth. Even though we know the light. We we'll still take commands from our feelings. Why is that? Why does your feelings have so much power? You know, the reason why we stay in these situations and stay in trauma is because we don't want to break free from these feelings because the feelings feel familiar. The feelings feel like this is how you identify yourself. Without this feeling, you have no identity. See, the feeling has become a part of your identification process. So you think... When you try to put a new feel in there, it doesn't feel right. You don't accept it. You say, this don't feel right. This is false. This is fake. I can't be fake. Listen, your feelings should be your choices. Some of you all see the truth. You, you see the ditch right in front of you and you walk into it. Because you think love does, you know, you think love does that. You think, well, it's my, I can't help who I... I can't help what I feel. I can't help who I feel it for. Just because you feel something doesn't mean that you have to do it. Just because you feel in strong emotions doesn't mean that you, that you have to do anything or obey it. Why can't you just recognize the emotion, acknowledge it, but if I say I know the truth and I recognize the truth, then I have to choose one. Some of you all don't choose the truth at all. Even though the truth is in your face, smacking you every day, you're still choosing the lie. You're still choosing the feeling. And you know, the feeling don't bring you anywhere. The same feeling. And I don't, I don't understand. We are grown. We are too old for this. We fall trapped into these feelings. We know better, yet we do what we feel. You know, there's a, a quote that says, if you know better, you do better. It is not if you know better, you still go with your feelings. <laughs> and that's what we're doing. If you know better, you don't... Go with your feelings, because that makes no sense. That means you are being silly on purpose. That means you are being intentional with your foolishness. That means you are being intentionally ignorant. Because all of us, that's one thing that we do. All of us know the truth. The truth is all in our faces. When you look at inconsistencies, when you look at this discernment that we have, 
when you look at what people are doing, what they don't do, what they don't show us, that they don't respect us. We see it, that they have multiple people. They have all these relationships going on, all these different connections. And yet, these feelings are telling us, well, I like him or her. I love them. I love them. So let me obey this love. And then two weeks later, here comes this. I can't believe. I find it funny that. Damn, I didn't expect. Yes, you did. You're only doing that because you don't want to blame yourself. But you're going to learn. You're going to learn. Stop giving in to your feelings. I'm just saying. I hope you understand what I'm saying.